Are looking forward now to heat three and that the outright favorite certainly to go through to the semi-finals tomorrow christine aaron of france one of the only athletes in the world this year to have uh, anywhere close to the american marion jones she lost to her by just point one of a second in paris and that's the full line up there safronikova of belarus goes in lane one Vastatkova of the czech republic in two in of russia in three maninen of finland in four lichtenhagen of Germany in five, Kravchenko of the Ukraine in six, and then Christine Aron in lane seven. And Christine Aron has made dramatic improvements over the last 18 months or so, and her best time now stands at 10.85 seconds, just outside the top 10 of all time for women's 100 meter running. That's some achievement. Looking relaxed and uh, You've got to be in control of your emotions in these qualifying competitions. And as Linford Christie said this morning, really, these first round races gets rid of those people who really aren't up to scratch for championship competition. The real battle will start in the semi-finals and, of course, then the time when the medals are decided. That's the Ukrainian, Kravchenko, who is second in the World Student Games, then Safronikova. of Belarus. She's got a lifetime best performance of 11.19 seconds, so should figure to become one of the first three. Vostatkova of the Czech Republic, Czechoslovakian 200 meter champion. She goes in lane two. Natalia Inyatova of Russia. I was saying earlier on what's happened to all the great former Russian sprinters. Well, we've just seen Provalova. I wonder if Inyatova is up to the task here today. Johanna Maninen of Finland, just 18 years old. The reigning European junior 100 meter champion. Silke Lichtenhagen, last time the European Championships were held four years ago, she uh, ran the anchor leg for Germany and actually held off Prevalova for Germany to win the gold medal. Then Kravchenko, we just had a brief look at her before. Good starter, Ukrainian 100 meter champion. Then Kristin Aron, she really is a good athlete. Born in Guadeloupe. 24 years old and uh, really one of the rising stars of French and European athletics. Be interesting to see if she can get anywhere near that time uh, that Pitisevic set in the first heat, 11.06, the fastest time so far in these qualifying rounds. The important thing though, to conserve energy and to make sure you go through to the next round without any trouble and I'm sure Christine Aaron will do that. conditions are right I just wonder if the championship record by the time we get round to the final could be challenged 10.89 seconds by Catherine Traver eight years ago now in split Pintasevich was saying though just yesterday that this is not a great track for sprinters a little soft we'll have to wait and see Safranikova, Vastatkova, Inyatova, Maninen Lichtenhagen, Kravchenko and Christine Aaron on the outside. First three go through to the semi-finals tomorrow. So they get away first time and on the inside Safranikova going well into a running and here comes Christine Aaron. She really is cruising through. Safranikova is going to take second place there and Yatova is through as well. Look at that, Christine Aaron coming through. Kravchenko and Safranikova I think for the first three places. 11.11 into a slight headwind minus 0.8 meters per second but that was a great demonstration of sprinting untroubled unruffled throughout the preparation and the race stays low gets into a running beautiful stride and then running tall and she just streaks away from the rest safranikova on the right hand side of the picture the belarus athlete there coming through as is Kravchenko, just one lane inside Christine Aaron. Christine Aaron in first place, Safronikova and Kravchenko, the first three. But Aaron was streets ahead of the rest. So things building up very, very nicely indeed to see who's going to take the women's sprint crown of Europe. Relaxation and then totally focused on the finish. This is a super athlete. Pintasevich, all hustle and bustle and power. And uh, Christine Aaron, the French champion, silky smooth.
in that third heat of the women's 100.